Hey, hey, welcome back to the challenge, all my real ones. Um, before we get into today's topic, I just want to thank all the people who subscribed so far. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. Hit the uh, like button if you like the videos. Hit the dislike button if you don't. Um, click that notification bell if you consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. And just to inform all the uh, new ones to the channel, I'm basically a sketch artist. Um, I have a lot of projects coming up and clients and different segments that you will see in upcoming videos where I display my art um, from start to finish. Um, sometimes it'll be fast paced drawing or it'll be just like this where you have like picture stills and you get to see the progression of how the art um, turns out. This uh, particular sketch is actually my profile picture across all social media. And actually, in one of the, I'm in a, a wide variety of art uh, groups on Facebook and Instagram and things like that. And actually, um, a fan wanted me to redraw um, a piece of work that he had, which you saw in the beginning of this video. And so I took him up on that challenge and I uh, redrew Venom. So that's what you'll see throughout this video from start to finish. And towards the end, you'll see it in color. And I want to give a shout out to Ivan Dominguez. He's actually the one who colored, digitally colored my sketch. Um, his Instagram and all his information will be in the description below. So check out his Instagram and show your love and support to him. He's a dope artist. Now the topic of the hour, man. So clickbait. Yo, now I watch YouTube. I ain't really get hip to YouTube for real until around 2016. I always knew it was around, but never really watched YouTube like that. Didn't have any really content creators that I really clicked with or, or found yet. But around 2016, I started watching YouTube and stumbled across a couple of people that were just really dope, which I've mentioned in previous videos for you guys to check out. And one thing that grinds my gears, man, that, man, literally, I don't know why it pisses me off so much. Uh, excuse my language. But again, this is uh, adult channel. Is clickbait. Now, uh, I'm a very honest individual i keep it 100 at all times so when you see titles of my videos or things like that it will be what it is so if i say epic fail chances are i'm failed um whatever is in the description or whatever's in the title will be that um but nothing frustrates me more than seeing successful YouTube creators saying one thing in the title to get people to watch. And then as soon as they watch, it's not what it is, what they describe, whether it's positive or negative, where it's good, whether it's bad. I feel like your skill, your talent, in my opinion, will carry you, especially if you have over a hundred thousand subscribers, you're already doing, in my opinion, what people in your lane want to see. And if you're talented and you bring in um, good content, they'll they'll watch your videos. To me, I just don't feel see the need to front. You know what I'm saying? Now that's just my opinion. Uh, for some people, they feel like they have to do it because it's a business. It'll draw attention. It might be smart, but um, just me personally, I think if you're talented and you bring something to the table, people will gravitate to you without having a need to front. You know, so. Let me know what y'all think. Am I bugging or am I tripping? Is it part of the game? Is it whatever? Uh, hit the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think um, about clickbait. Are you for it? Are you against it? Do you feel like you're um, the person you like need to do that in order to gain subscriber? Is it part of the game? Or does it frustrate you just like as much as it frustrates me? <laughs> so let me know. Until then, everyone, take care of one another. Much love.